Okay, so we've talked about the primary options that you have available to you here in your team along with your channels of that particular team. And now what I want to discuss is I want to discuss some of the other global nav options here. So we've talked about teams. I've talked briefly about files and how this is more your overall global files for both your teams as well as your OneDrive account. Activity is going to give you a call by call essentially of everything that's happening in your particular feed. You can filter through, you can even choose to kind of create new content there. So now I want to talk about chat and meetings. I'm going to start with talking about meetings. So we've got this team, we're talking about the smart bar, and let's say that we actually want to now schedule a time when we can meet in person on campus to discuss the smart bar. So I'm going to click on the meetings tab here and I can actively schedule a meeting. So meeting title here, I'm gonna just do discuss SB and I can choose a channel to meet in. If I want um, you know, a channel to, to be given the option for anyone to join. So this makes it easier so I don't have to remember everybody I'm inviting to this meeting, I can just choose the smart bar channel. And then I'm going to just say no location. I'll go ahead and set this. I'll just pick an arbitrary date. Let's pick it. I'm going to pick it for May 9th of 2018 from 3.30 to 4 p.m. I, I know it's way out there, but this is going to make it easier for me to then just delete this. And I can then schedule that meeting. All right, so it's going to go ahead and think. It has scheduled that meeting, and bam, that meeting has now been posted directly to the team. And so over here on my Canvas Facts, now I'm going to have the opportunity to see that that has been added. And SmartBar will now be able to actively join that meeting. Now additionally, you can just jump right in here and cancel the meeting if you need to. You'll notice that uh, Canvas Facts has joined. Canvas Facts would be attending this meeting, but I'm going to go ahead and cancel the meeting. Cancel the meeting because we don't obviously need it to happen. And the meeting got canceled. That's fine. I'll just leave it there. So that is the meeting scheduler, and that is essentially how that works in Teams.